What is going on? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyInPaint.com and we have a question from a subscriber. Tony, all of my body work is complete. Spot primed and wet sanded. I'm ready to shoot the exterior of my truck. I have all the insides of my doors and door jams completely painted and clear coated. Now, what is the best way to tape off inside my doors and door jams so when I'm spraying the exterior, none of the sealer and new base coat and clear coat get inside the jams. I've seen special tape for door jams, but it looks like this will leave some sort of edge that you see. Should I pick a hard edge inside the door jam and tape right to it and maybe the paint won't be noticeable like on the, on the body line? See attached pictures. So the, you are correct that there are two types of blending. Well, it's not really blending, but there's something called a hard line where you just tape and then you clear up to it, and then when you take the tape off, you're gonna have a hard line of where the paint ends, right? And then they have a soft line where you roll the tape or you use some sort of tube tape. I have some video that I just shot for you to explain this in depth for you. Uh, but let's take a look at the pictures uh, he, Gary sent in here. Yep, it's Gary. So he clear coated. It looks like this is a Dodge Ram. I know because I painted a few Dodge Rams, uh, more than a few in my day. Um, let's give you a closer shot of this here. So basically, he's wondering if he should tape it up around here or around here. The outside looks like it's sanded ready for his painting. Uh, the inside is all done. So here's what you can do, Gary. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out for a second. Uh, go back to your main question here. Thanks, uh, Gary, for uh, VIP member from South Jersey. Let's go ahead and show you guys this video. So I just recorded this video. Um, the product I'm holding in my hand here is called Tube Tape. Let me lower the volume on this thing. Um, and you just put it in on the door here where it closes. So different doors have different style door jams. So on this case, you would stick it right around here and you can see that it's round. Okay, and it gives you a round soft edge when you're when you're painting. So you just stick it like that, you close the door, and boom, when you paint the outside, you can see the dark area here, it's not stuck really well, uh, but some of these areas in here are better. You would need a little bit of adjustment. I don't know if, if I brighten up the screen if you can see that more, but that's basically how this product works. There are Numerous products like this on the market. One of them that I use when I use them is called Tube Tape. That's the, the product right here. They come in two different sizes. Uh, I think 3 8 and 5 16 I believe. And that's pretty much it. You just stick it and then you close the door and then you can peel it off when you're done. I did the mini truck project using this. It worked pretty damn good. Uh, I'm going to take off my cam here and I'm going to show you a different method using a simple three quarter inch masking tape. Okay, so I'm just showing you a small section what you would do here to roll uh, the edge to give yourself a soft edge. So you would basically put it on like that and then roll it inward, pull it inward. And I feel sometimes this gives you the best protection for overspray in door jams if you want to do it. So you can see, just roll it like that, right? And then when you close the door, Boom, that gives you a nice rounded bubbly edge. Uh, you can see how this has a nice seal here. Now when you paint the outside, you're not going to get overspray going into your car. Okay, again, it depends on the door jams that you're working on, but most times you could just do it this way. And the bottom, you would uh, have to, sometimes the bottom of the door is, is shaped a little differently. So you'd have to open it up and maybe even mask up. Let me see if I, if I tilt the camera down, I can show you a little bit more. Let's see if I point the camera down a little bit more in here. So what I'm saying here is you could mask if you wanted to paint it uh, with the door open. Sometimes, usually if you're painting door jams like this, you would mask this rubber. You actually take this weather stripping out. Uh, let's see if I can get the draw tool here. You would take this weather stripping out, right? and then put a piece of sheet of paper here and then mask and then basically close out this section so you can paint you know, all in here with, with your spray, okay? But what I'm saying is 
you might want to ha or need to because on the bottom here, so say we finished uh, basically taping all of this line edge all the way down, right? What I'm saying is you might need to put a sheet of paper, let's do a different color, just in this area inside the door jam just to cover it so you got no, and you may, you could even do in here as well if you want to, if you want to be extra. Uh, protective, right? You can cover this with paper, just just one single sheet. It could be like a eight inch roll of paper here, just in here, just give it a, a quick sheet. So it'll probably be like this thick overlapped inside, right? Uh, so when you close your door, you got this protection here, and then you got your paper that's inside here, you know, um, for, for masking. So hopefully this video helps guys. Tony here from learnautobodyandpaint.com. Um, what I'm going to do right now quickly is go back to his question. I answered your question, Gary. Uh, please like the video, guys. Share, subscribe. If you want to get a free 85-page auto body and paint manual, hit up learnautobodyandpaint.com. Uh, the site's going to look just like this. Uh, you could go ahead and fill out your information. Super easy, right in this box. Click enter. You could download this 85-page guide here. And if you are on a mobile, click right over here at the top right of this video, right over here, right there. And then you could basically navigate to this website. If you're on mobile, I mean desktop, click down below in the description. Uh, check out VIP as well. If you guys want to learn intense A to Z auto body, we have over 150 hours of step-by-step -step videos and training guides and a Facebook forum with members from all around the world learning auto body, even opening up their own body shops after going through our program. If you want to check out some of the best spray guns that we use right now without paying for overpriced brand name pricing, uh, check out Zula.com. It's an authorized website that sells, uh, um, let's see, hold on here. I can't click for some reason. It won't let me click, here it goes. Uh, it's an authorized website that sells Atom spray guns. Definitely check these guns out. They're the only spray guns that I use at this point and they are unbelievable spray guns ton tons tons of great reviews on them and uh that's pretty much it guys like the video share subscribe if you have any more questions on auto body click the link below type in your comment and i will talk to you soon have a great day peace out bye